Hello and welcome to the course. My name is Paolo Farias Navarro and I'll be your instructor. In this course, we'll be building a virtual reality experience using 360 photos. The story goes as follows. We've landed in an alien planet that looks awfully familiar and we can interact with these creatures or aliens and they will give us information. So we have um, user interface elements such as those and uh, we can uh, see what they have to say in case it's anything interesting, well not really in this case and also we can move to a different um, to a different photo using um, destination pins like so and uh, we have um, more UI elements like buttons and we have we also have a very important discussion on um, user interface and all of the elements that you see are built in a way that can be easily dropped into any Unity project. So we have another destination pin here that can take us back to our original location. So it is a fun simple project that has so many applications you could easily turn into um, turn this into uh, any kind of educational experience or a real estate tour or museum application anything really. It's a very flexible project. Our learning goals. By the end of this course you'll be very familiar with 360 images and you'll know how to prepare them and how to work with them in Unity and VR. We are going to be talking a lot about user interface and that includes gaze interactions using the reticle, diegetic and non-diegetic UI, you'll, you'll learn and understand what those things are and we'll also talk about spatial UI which is how you need to position space in virtual reality. And by the end of this course, you'll have some reusable UI elements that you can just drop into any Unity project. Now, how is this course structured? We are going to start by talking about 360 photos in general, what they are and usually what kind of formats you get with them. We will look at how to load them in Unity and implement the destination pins that you saw so that you can, we can move in between. Uh, scenes that contain different photos and then we will have our discussion on UI and we'll build the uh, panels and button that, that you saw and make this in a way that can be dropped into other projects. Now I want you to think about all of the applications that this technology and these techniques can have. So the example that we're building is quite simple but this could be used in so many different contexts like education, entertainment, training, in real estate, tourism, productivity. So uh, keep a very open mind because all of these technologies are new and I want you to be using them in innovative ways and to take <clears throat> all that you learn here and apply it to your own projects. Something that I really like about online courses and it's one of the reasons why I both make courses and also take a lot of courses myself is because they really suit anyone's learning style. If you want to watch all the videos at once, you can do it. You can always go back to the videos later. You can go watch each video as many times as you want, as you need. And uh, it's recommended that you do follow along and work on your own projects as well. And if you plan to complete your online course and if you set fixed days and times to to do the lessons that will definitely increase your chances of success and that is something we've learned after speaking to hundreds of students who managed to complete their courses and they told us how they did it. So without further ado let's get started and let's now work on a game design document for this game that we are building. <laughs> 